Now this is the Chitari foot soldier out of the box and I've just slightly posed him with its backdrop. Its backdrop is kind of broken city scene, maybe like um, some wrought iron. And he has in, an incredible stance, very strong legs and big huge feet. Um, that will make it easy to stand up with. Uh, they even paid attention to getting some scarage right and the armor is quite interesting. Um, it obviously has a little bit of an Egyptian feel to it. Now you can notice that they've done an excellent job on the metallic quality of the helmet. Uh, there is extreme attention to brush detail um, down to the uh, the kind of muzzle, if you will. A ferocious character right here. And just for those collectors who want to keep the box um, and keep it intact, I would uh, suggest using like maybe a fingernail or something when pulling apart the backing card. Oh. He is incredibly poseable. He's got a lot of various joints. Uh, his hands and arms move in many different directions. It's made of a very sturdy plastic. His claws are so vicious. He's got a really stealth look about him and the background just reinforces that so much. He's got uh, junctures here at the knees and also down here at the ankles. So um, he really could be posed in probably a multitude of ways. He almost, I mean, these these claws here almost look like gnarly trees a la Groot, if you will. Another thing to keep in mind is that anti-venom can kick back, so the knee joints, the feet move, and uh, even his head has a, has a joint in here that allows him to move. He's pretty vicious.